Hey baby, we're in Santa Barbara having a Bordeaux blend. Let's see how this works. Let's go. Hey, what up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Wine Wednesday. Happy Wine Wednesday. I am your host, J. Tom Gunter, owner of Grapes of Sam Publishing. Hey, what's cracking, guys? Uh, as you can see, there's wine in my glass. I am excited about this Wine Wednesday. Happy Wine Wednesday to everybody. Um... We're gonna get right into the wine, but before we do, I need to ask you a really, really interesting question. So, I, I plan on dropping my novel the beginning of next year, beginning to the second quarter of next year. I know a lot of people do not read long form uh, literature. Um, tension spans, people like don't, they just don't read them. It's more short form stuff nowadays. Um, if you're one of those people, how would you want it marketed to you? For example, like, uh, or not example, but what I mean is that, um, you know, what would catch your attention to make you purchase long form, to make you grab a novel? Uh, also, if you're a person who has, who loves long form um, and have been, and, um, you know, you're a sucker for some specific type of marketing, please let me know that. Just DM me. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to push this book. Um, so I can get in in front of as many people as possible because this is a labor of love. I've been working on this book for a few years uh, on and off and I think it's ready to put out and I'm super excited to share it. Uh, it's called Vino and Verse, which is the working title. And I am, um, I'm really excited. You have no idea. I'm really excited to get this in front of some eyes. Um, but I want to get it in front of, I want to maximize. I want to get in front of a lot of eyes. But anyway, you guys, are, you guys are here for the wine. So let's get into the wine. I'm sorry for like, you know, talking too much about a project but i just had to ask you guys because you guys been following me i figured the best way to you know do better as far as marketing is to hear it from you guys so uh with that said let's get into the wine today we're in santa barbara and we're talking about the three sides um red blend uh 2021 santa barbara county this is a blend of cabernet sauvignon uh merlot and cabernet franc or sorry petit Verdot. Sorry about that. Um, this is 55 Cabernet Sauvignon, 41 uh, Merlot, and 4% Petit Verdot. So nice little Bordeaux blend showing up in Santa Barbara. Now let me tell you, I really had a good Bordeaux blend out of uh, Santa Barbara. I was going to be honest with you. Uh, uh, I like a little bit more richer. I like a little bit more tannic. like a little bit more tannin going on there. Bolder. Um, yeah, that's just I'm, that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, a lot of time I have I've had Santa Barbara and they tend to be a little bit more leaner, um, which is not a problem. The flavor profile normally hits right. It's just for me, for my palate, I like it a certain way. Doesn't mean I'm gonna score this low if it is like that. This is my first time trying this. I just literally just opened up this bottle, um, so we'll see how this works. We'll see if this uh, does well. I'm still gonna score it high if it's good, whether it's good for my palate or not. So let's go. On the nose. First thing that's jumping at, or first couple things that are jumping out of the glass at me is the uh, black cherry. This like kind of fleshy black cherry. I'm also getting this nice uh, purple plum going on here too. Let's roll this and get some air in this wine. There's some red fruit here. I'm getting a dusty like red raspberry here too. Nice leather smell, catching more from um, I would say more of a. Um, more of an older leather, like a nice leather mitt type of thing. There's something herbal here, which is kind of cool. I like that. There's something definitely like a little bit of like a green herb secondary thing going on here. Maybe a secondary of anise, uh, like uh, licorice. There's a little bit of a secondary oxidative like bitterness that I'm catching here too, which is kind of cool. I like, you know me, I like complexity. When it has numerous things, I like that, so... And also a little bit of like a, there's like a floral thing too. I'm getting a little lilac here. Let's go ahead and taste it and see if everything's translating to the palate. So this wine is definitely fruit driven. Um, it's delicious. It's good. Um, let's not say, it's it's good. It's good. It's good wine actually. This is not, um, this is not um, bad wine at all. Um, very long finish here. Let's talk about structure. Let's just get into structure, structure first. Well, it's a builder. Who would have thought? Um, tannins are medium plus. 
um, but approachable, especially after the first sip. Um, you don't even realize they're there because the fruit is so lush. Uh, but the second sip, these things build up so you start feeling it in your gums. Um, I would say like, nah, not medium plus, kind of tiptoeing that line between medium and medium plus. Um, acid is, acid is medium. Um, nice, nice medium though, like a hefty medium. Um, again, finish is long, this is pretty seamless on the palate here. Um, so up front, kind of that black cherry. Um, as it transitions, you get more into the raspberry, um, kind of a raspberry, um, red cherry thing going on too. Red raspberry, red cherry. So it gets more red fruit in the mid palate, more, uh, black fruit up front. You get a little bit of that, um, kind of plum thing with plum skin thing on the finish, which is kind of cool. Kind of like a little bit of a tartness there, but not overly tart at all. Uh, just kind of like a pop of it in the third quarter to the finish. Um, there's also like a nice little tea component component here. I'm getting this like kind of like um, like a green tea, like a, like a nice little green tea going on on the finish, uh, but not just again. It's a pop and it's seamless on the palate. The mouth feels nice. Um, there's this like kind of uh, drying dustiness that I'm liking um, as a, uh, outside of the. Um, into the gums and more into like the um the cheeks but like up the middle is kind of this juicy but also a uh, uh, nice mouthfeel nice silky mouthfeel going on it's a fun wine it's like there's nothing bad i can say about this wine um not that i'm looking for something bad i'm just saying there's nothing bad i can say about this wine um got one more yeah, that tea thing's becoming more pronounced. And actually, tannins are medium plus on this. It's well made. Um, okay, so I'll tell you a little bit why it seems like I'm reticent a little bit. I like this wine. I think it's good. I think it's, it, it's probably better for another type of palate. When I when I get my Bordeaux, uh, Bordeaux blends um, or Bordeaux period, though any grapes from that, I like a little bit more darker fruit. I tend to go more on the, the blue, uh, black, purple side and this is more black red more red dominant to be honest with you but it is delicious wine and so i can't i can't knock it um i think a lot of people are gonna love this one um pork chops would go well with pouring it i mean with uh, pairing it if you like pork if you don't i would say a nice little like skirt steak would go really well with that uh with like chimichurri sauce i think it would kill um if i'm scoring this wine i'm going um stay tuned wine wednesday will be right back if you know me, you know I love hats and you know I love wine. So why not do wine inspired hats? Go check them out on my online store. I have wino hats, brown wino hats, black wino hats, fig hats. I think you'll enjoy it. Cheers, guys. Now back to the show. 90. And um, yeah, I'm going to go 90 with this. And um, yeah, I recommend it, guys. I do recommend it. It's a good wine. Um, th this would have been good for uh, Thanksgiving, to be honest with you. Um, other than that, hope you guys are having a wonderful week. I hope this perfect episode to get you into the uh, rest of the week, uh, this being hump day. And uh, question of the day, um, if you've been down to Santa Barbara County, do you have a favorite label? Please put that in the um, in the comment section so I can go check that out when I'm down there. I'm going to go visit hopefully soon, sometime soon. I miss Santa Barbara. I miss the area. I miss the wine. I miss everything about it. So definitely hit me up in the comments and let me know what's your favorite label in there. Guys, until next time, cheers.